I'm Emma Stewart, senior at Neshaminy High School, and today we're very lucky to have Jane and James Clementi with us to talk about suicide prevention and bullying awareness. Jane and James came here today to introduce the Day One campaign to Neshaminy High School to make the Neshaminy community more together in raising awareness for bullying and cyberbullying. Jane and James are here to talk about their um, son and brother who commit suicide in 2010 at Rutgers University. They took such a tragic event in their life and made it into something beautiful and inspiring for individuals at schools, colleges, and in um, the public so that they can tell others that there's always hope and there's always someone you can go to talk to. I want to um, share with you a little bit about our family. Our story is all centered around our family. This is our family. Nothing extraordinary, nothing um, spectacular. Um, certainly we are very, very private people and we never really expected our life's journey to take us in this direction. Tyler was a, um, a wonderful child, loving, caring brother and son. He had a great sense of humor. He had a real easygoing disposition. He um, was cheerful almost all the time. I don't think I saw him, but unhappy but a few times actually. Um, he was very creative and he loved to build and put things together and solve puzzles and solve problems. He was actually a good problem solver, which is not what some people might think about him. And he was just really very special and precious to us, to his family, um, and very unknown to the world until September of 2010 when he made national headlines. Um, I can't even imagine Tyler's thoughts and feelings, um, those bully, what those bullying actions did to Tyler, um, humiliating him probably in front of his new dorm mates who he was trying to be friends with, maybe giving him thought that his sexual orientation was something to be laughed at or ashamed of. Um, whatever he was feeling, he must have felt very, very desperate, very alone, very isolated. Um, because it was at that point that Tyler made a decision that we can never change or undo. On September 22nd, 2010, uh, Tyler died by suicide. He was 18 years old. Unfortunately, in the last five years, uh, this issue of cyberbullying as well as um, young people who are feeling targeted and uh, feeling depressed and suicidal, you know, it really hasn't... Um, we have made a lot of changes or improvements. I continue to see a lot of stories um, in the media and I realize that Tyler was just one of many. Um, and talking to some of the students earlier today, I know in your school also you guys have been touched by this issue. And so we're really here to help you feel inspired to understand that it doesn't have to be this way and that what happened in our family, um, you know, as tragic as it was, it, it's not the outcome that we want to see for anyone else. And um, so we have some ideas and solutions and things we've learned along the last five years of our journey um, to offer to you guys really is true in a, in a way. You really are the first generation to go through your adolescence and go through high school with uh, social media and with the ways that we're all connected online now. Um, so your generation is kind of feeling the growing pains that um, earlier generations haven't had and I think um, unfortunately, some people that go through really severe bullying situations like my brother end up experiencing the worst aspects of it. Um, so, you know, I think we want to take some accountability for what we're putting online and realizing that, um, you know, the person that you are on Facebook, on Twitter, and on other platforms is actually the same as the person that you are sitting physically in this room right now. There's no difference. Um, and technology is not going away. Technology is just going to advance. And there's nothing wrong with technology. We need to embrace technology also. I mean, it's great. It keeps people communicated. It allows people to find people online, maybe in a broader sense of community. Um, they might not be able to connect with the people that they're physically in community with, but they might need the support. They, there are support groups and there's chat rooms to help support you. Online, it's not a bad thing. You have to remember that technology is only as bad as the person who uses it, or as good as the person who uses it. The Clementis, they have a, the Tyler Clementi Foundation, that's their foundation, and they created a new initiative, it's called the Day One Campaign. And basically what that is, is there's a pledge that you read on your first day at school, your first day at work, in your faith group, anywhere in that you start your first day. You read it and it basically says that you will be an upstander, that you will target um, 
anti-bullying, that you will stop um, bullying, you will talk to somebody, you will be an upstander and basically make your um, community a comfortable place for the students, your peers, your colleagues. And what Nishamani is going to do is we're going to post the pledge up on our walls and have the students sign and become upstanders and put their um, cards in multicolor so it's a positive um, feature of our high school and put it on the wall so that way it resonates positivity and a comfortable place for Nishamani. I will work to make others feel safe and completed by treating them with respect and compassion. I will not use insulting or demeaning language, slurs, gestures, facial expressions, or judges about anyone's sexuality, size, gender, or race. I will state my disagreement or discomfort about people's differences in ways that are respectful rather than insulting or demeaning. I will encourage my peers, family members, and colleagues to be safe. I will speak up when they use prejudice language about any group or any